Hello everybody, welcome back to another daily vlog. My name is Jess and I post videos over here on my YouTube channel every single day. So I'd love to have you subscribe if you're interested in lifestyle, mom content, what's going on in my day, health journey stuff, recipes, hauls, all different kinds of stuff over here. So if you're interested in that, definitely hit that subscribe button. Um, for all of you that aren't new, welcome back. Thank you for spending part of your day with me. It is already noon. I'm just now opening the vlog, and I have been busy doing work um, today for YouTube. So I have been spending the last couple hours getting two videos edited and uploaded for y'all. Um, I really try. Today's Thursday as I'm filming this. I think you guys are seeing it on Monday. But I really try towards the end of the week to make sure that I'm scheduling and ready to take the weekend off. Um, this is a change that I've been making for our family um, this year. You guys will still get videos every single day, but I'm just scheduling them ahead so I can have a couple days off um, from YouTube. And it's been working out really well. You know, it's just nice to have a break sometimes. A lot of times I'll still film during the week, the weekend, but I won't have to edit. So that's a good thing. Um, anyway. I've been busy doing that. I've decided to just have a makeup-free day today. Sometimes it's nice just to let your face rest. <laughs> I needed it today. Um, so I washed my face. I brushed my hair. But that's as far as I got. And it's really chilly again today. I don't, I don't like spring for many reasons. One, allergies. I'm going crazy with allergies right now. The other thing is, it's like as spring is getting started, it's hot, it's cold, it's hot, it's cold, it's hot, it's cold, over and over again. And that is just hard <laughs> to deal with. So it's another cold snap. I am freezing, so I got on a sweatshirt. But anyway, I'm trying to get kind of set up for the weekend and make sure all my ducks are in a row. Um... It's a beautiful day, but like I said, it's a little bit cold outside. So we're just gonna kind of probably hang out at home. Um, I need to go eat something. I'm also on a weight loss journey. You guys are probably tired of hearing about it, but I need to go eat something. I eat every two and a half to three hours all day long. And um, man, those two and a half to three hours, they go by fast. They go by fast. I tell all my clients when they're starting out, like set meal alarms on your phone because you'll be surprised. It's like you just say, you turn around and you have to eat again. Because <laughs> two and a half hours, it sounds like a long time. It goes by so quick, so quick. So I'm thinking about something like savory, like a mashed potato or another cheddar biscuit. I don't know. I'm going to figure out something here in a minute. I'm about to go do that. Drink in my water over here. I've got coffee. Anytime I'm working at my desk, I have multiple drinks. Um, I'm not even a drink person, but I just have to surround myself with them to get them all in. So I always have coffee. <laughs> I always have water. Sometimes I'll add iced coffee in there or iced tea or hot tea. And so it's not uncommon for my desk to have cups overflowing all over the place. But anyway, um, y'all come hang out with me today. It's going to be a great day. We're going to get lots of stuff done. It's also been very helpful this week. I have really worked hard on staying on top of all of my household chores, not letting anything get away from me. I cleaned this week. I've kept up on laundry. I've kept up on dishes. And that has been so, like, freeing mentally for me. So, like, every – what I do – what I've been doing with the laundry is um, I run a load at night, like, at the end of the day. I'll run a load after the kids get a bath – run alone in the washer, and then right around the time they go to bed, I put it in the dryer, um, either fold it the next morning or fold it that night if I have time. And it's been working out so well. And then all throughout the day, my washer is empty, uh, so I'll just stick dirty clothes in there. And so I've been doing like one load a day. I've been staying on top of it. We don't have piles of, di of dirty laundry, and it's just been really, really helpful, helpful. So I've been doing that. Um, I've really been trying to just kind of stay on top of things better because, I mean, my house is never going to be perfect. I mean, we live here. There's kids that play here. There's toys. There's stuff. But if I can keep it neater, like the neater the better because it just helps my mental health. It helps so, so much. Just clean surfaces, not a lot of clutter not dirty clothes or dirty dishes. Like it just helps me to feel better. And I think it makes everybody feel better, tr truly. Um, so I've really been trying to do things to kind of help my mental health just 
when I'm busy and I have a lot going on, which I do right now, I have a lot going on between YouTube, I do health coaching on the side, we do a lot of stuff at church, um, lots of stuff with my kids, you know, just lots of stuff. Um, I'm so blessed to be able to work at home and to schedule, you know, my day around my kids and when they're going to be home and what they need and work around that. It's just amazing and I'm so blessed. But also, it can be overwhelming, too, to, like, squeeze it all in. And so if I can do a few things to kind of help my mental clarity, <laughs> it's been helpful. Another thing I've really been thinking of, and if you saw Saturday's weekly video where I talk about, like, my health journey and stuff, I talk about possibly joining a gym. I still have not pulled the trigger on that. Maybe by the time you're watching this, I have. I'm just really nervous about it. Um, it's $10 a month at Planet Fitness. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. I probably should just go ahead and do it. Right now, they're not having like any startup fee because I looked a few weeks ago just to see at, like prices and there was like a $50 startup fee. And I was like, oh, I don't really want to pay that. But now there's just a $1 startup fee. So that's a lot better. It's $10 a month, and then there's a yearly fee, like in June, of $49. So her, what is that, $160 a year, something like that, you could have a gym membership. So I'm thinking about doing it, but I'm kind of nervous about it because I, it would basically be for my mental health. I always feel really good when I'm working out. Um, I need to strengthen my back as well. I just have had a lot of back pain, um, and I think strengthening those muscles would really help. I just don't want to overdo it. Before, when I've done gym memberships and stuff, I overdo it. I go too hard, and I know how I am with it because I feel really good mentally, and I like going. It's really like a fun outlet. I just don't want to overdo it, and so I'm just like nervous. I keep going back and forth. Do I do it? I think I should do it. While they're having the special, I should do it. I just, I don't know. It's like another expense. And, you know, it's only $10, but, like, all of the little things add up so much. And we really tried to watch the subscriptions because it just adds up. It adds up so quick. But um, this would be something really good for me. So David's like, you should do it. And I keep, like, going to do it, and then I stop. Like, I just, I'm, I'm afraid uh, I'm just, I don't know. I don't want to hurt myself. I don't want to overcommit. So we'll see. We'll see. I'm still thinking about it, but I know like that helps my mental health a lot. It gives me a lot of energy and I think it would be really good for my body. It would be a fun, like, um, you know, as moms, I'm always looking for stuff to like do to like clear my head, take a break. And it's nice when you can find something that's actually beneficial, like going to Walmart and, and walking around is a fun break too, but usually I spend money. <laughs> it's not as good for my body. I mean, walking is good, I guess, but Usually I buy stuff. It's, you know, it's probably saved me more than $10 a month just to go there and only the, get only there. So anyway, and I'm not giving up my Panera subscription. That is not happening. So <laughs> that is not even a, uh, that's not even a thought. Because I know some of you are like, well, you could just cancel Sip Club and then you could almost pay for your, no, I can't. I love Sip Club too much. <laughs> so Anyway, y'all come hang out with me today. It's going to be a good day. We're just going to kind of be at home. Maybe we'll get out later. Who knows? I know Lucy has piano tonight. She normally has piano on Monday. However, um, her teacher uh, swapped some things around. So instead of Monday, she's going today. So anyway. Hi, buddy. How are you? Here's little man. You want to say hi to the people? Hi. How is Sharky? Good. You're good, my sweet boy. Are you going to go to school next year? Yes. Are you excited for that? Yes. What are you going to do at school? I'm going to learn. You're going to learn? What are you going to learn about? Uh, I'm going to learn about numbers. Numbers. Letters. Letters. Yeah. I will have a puzzles. And puzzles? I'm going to miss you too much. Are you going to come home after school and cuddle me? Let's, like, let's not get carried away here. But we don't have a bean. Beans. Um, at church, they've been playing with, like, dried beans. You like that? But those are gone. They're all gone. Anyway, we're going to go, and we will see you guys back in a little while. 
you guys. It is now almost three o'clock. Actually, it is three o'clock, right at three o'clock. Lucy will be home in a few minutes. David is going to meet her here. And as soon as she gets off the bus, they're going to jump in the car and go to piano. Her piano teacher needs her to get there as soon as possible. Um, for scheduling stuff. Uh, I think she has somebody, I don't know. There's a scheduling conflict. So we had to move days and move times. Uh, Nate doesn't get home until closer to four. So I'm going to stay here and wait for him. I think Mark is going to probably ride with David up there um, just to kind of get out of the house. And they love riding up there. David plays like music for them and they just love it. <laughs> they always want, she always, Lucy always wants Mark to ride with them to piano and he loves it too. So I'm like, okay. Um, I was hoping to have some free time today to read a little bit. Maybe I'll do that with when Nate's here and I'm just me and Nate here at home. I've been so busy today. By the time I got done all my YouTube work, um, David needed me to record a couple things for the church. Uh, we started doing announcements, pre-recorded announcements again. We did this in every church we've been at. We did it in Texas. We did it in Georgia. We did it um, in Indiana. And we're just starting to do it here. It's just really helpful when you're making announcements at church as opposed to somebody having to stand up there and like give the announcements live. If you have them pre-recorded, it just goes really smooth. You can put it on top of graphics. It just looks really nice. And um, so we started doing that to kind of save some time too uh, on Sundays. So I recorded those for him. It took me like a while to record them. There was only three announcements, but... The dog would bark or Mark would yell something really loud or something. I was in my room like trying to record this. I kept having to, or I would get tongue tied. I'm out of practice doing those video announcements. But I got them done. I got them sent to David and he is on his way home. Um, but I just can't believe how fast the day goes by. I say this every day, but I cannot believe how fast the day goes by. It just, by the time I get a little bit of work done, do some housework, it's like time for the kids to be home, play with Mark a little bit, get him lunch, like all the little stop and starts to my day it just goes by so quick. Um, and it feels like it's going any even faster lately than normal. Used to, I would get done with my work, um, a few hours before the kids got home, like a couple hours before they got home and I would have some free time to do something, watch a show, read a book, take a nap, <laughs> rest a little bit. But now that Mark isn't taking quiet time really anymore and I'm just more busy, I pretty much work the whole time they're gone to school um, or and or, you know, be here with Mark and play with him and stuff. So it's all good, but I just feel I feel like I never get to read or do whatever. So while they're gone to piano, I think I'm going to read some of my book and relax with Mr. Nate. We have dinner left over from last night, so we're probably just going to eat that tonight. I love making something that has leftovers because then I don't really have to cook anything and the kids have stuff left over too, so they can have leftovers as well. Um, so we're in good shape for the rest of the night, but anyway, it's been a good day, just very busy. And, um, tomorrow I'm hoping since I got a lot of work done today, I only have to edit one, two videos for the weekend. Yes, I'll still have to edit two videos. I was thinking I'd only have one video to edit tomorrow. Now I'll have two to get ready for the weekend, but may maybe I can still take Mark and do something fun outside of the house. We've been pretty co cooped up this week. Um, just had a lot going on that I needed to do, and it's been kind of dreary and gross. It's beautiful today, but it's back to being cold. I've had so much allergies, but maybe we can think of something fun, even if I just take him to Chick-fil-A and let him play or do something like that tomorrow. That is my hope. So anyway, I love y'all, and I will see you guys in a little while. Nader Tater Bobader is home. He is having a, a snack. Here is question of the day. Here's question of the day, inspired by Nate. Let me know your favorite snack, um, especially like maybe one that's like you've always loved since you were a kid. Um, Nate loves lots of snacks, but one of his favorites is Ritz crackers. He loves Ritz crackers. So he's having some Ritz crackers and some lemonade. Um, I never really liked Ritz crackers. I was always like when I had when I was sick. I mean, they're okay. But Nate loves them. My favorite snack is probably something salty like chips or something. I feel like green. Like I feel like my face, I just feel really nauseous. If I could be an emoji right now, it would be 
the green face. I don't know why. All of a sudden, like, this wave of nausea just hit me. I think it's allergy related. I'm still having, like, a lot of drainage and stuff. I just feel really nauseated. David, Lucy, and Mark left for piano. So, me and Nate are just hanging. And they're going to be gone for a while because David needs to run by the church and do a few things. He's off tomorrow and he's doing some substitute teaching. So he needs to get that done today so he doesn't have to work after he gets done with teaching tomorrow and also on Saturday or whatever. So they're going to go by the church for a little while. So me and Nate have a couple hours and I'm just going to take full advantage. I don't have anything I need to do. Just hang out with Nate, kind of relax for a little while. It's time for my next fueling. So... These kind of satisfy the chip, kind of, uh, the crunchers really satisfy a lot of, like, the chip snackiness I get. These are cinnamon sugar sticks, so they're a little different than, the, like, the barbecue or the cheddar crunchers. Those are more like a puff. These are more like a pretzel, so it's like a little pretzel that's coated in, like, a buttery cinnamon sugar. It's sweet, it's salty, I'm hoping it's going to kind of help me feel less nauseated. <laughs> I do not feel well. So anyway, I'm going to eat these, hang out with my dude, and um, I will catch you guys back later on tonight. Hopefully I'll be feeling a little bit better. Guys, I've come outside. Um, it has been 24 hours since I've updated you. Maybe over 24 hours. So the last time I talked to you, I was feeling so, so, so nauseated, like extreme nausea. That's all really I had. Um, I ended up eating dinner. Like I kept thinking like if I eat, maybe if I drink, I'll feel better. It just kept getting worse and worse. And um, everybody else seemed fine. So I thought maybe it was just some kind of fluke um, that, you know, I've had allergies. Maybe it was that. Um, oh, it's really bright right here. And so here comes a, I came out here because it's quieter, but here comes a helicopter. Um... Anyway, the kids seemed fine, got Nate to bed, and maybe he was in bed 30 minutes before I heard the sound no parent wants to hear, and it was him getting sick in his room, but I ran down there. He did not make it to the bathroom. It was such a bad, bad mess. Nate, you know, with his autism, he doesn't always make it to the bathroom when he's going to throw up, and... Um, sometimes he does, sometimes he doesn't, but this just happens so quickly. Like, he ate fine, he seemed fine. And so, it was one of those times as a parent where you're, <laughs> you're literally looking at it, like, looking at the mess, like, I do not know what to do right now. Like, I don't know how to go about cleaning all this up. Thankfully, we have hardwood floors we do not have, or they're laminate or whatever. They're not carpet. That would have been a disaster. So, um, you know, I am still so nauseous and I'm trying to like, it takes me and David both to like get him in the tub, start bathing him, um, start trying to figure out how to clean it all up and start laundry and it was just so bad. I felt so bad for him. He just did not feel good at all. So it took a good while. We had to mop his room. It was a disaster. Um, like, four loads of laundry later between all of his beds bedding and the towels we had to use. It's just not to be graphic, but it was just, it was bad. Um, got him back in bed and for the rest of the night, well, for the early part of the night, especially I felt like it was so weird because I had no other symptoms, just nausea and like very much like just the feeling of filling an upset stomach. Um, it was awful. He started waking back up around 1 or 2 a.m. Um, he never got sick again, but you could tell he just did not feel good. And he kept going to the bathroom. I think he was so afraid he was going to get sick again. And I kept telling him, if you feel sick, run to the bathroom. And um, he never did, but he just was up a lot in the night. And so I am exhausted. I think we're both feeling better. We just kind of took today. And obviously he couldn't go to school. And we just took today and rested. And he has played and run around, but he has not had much of an appetite. He's drank Sprite. And he's eaten a few uh, cheese crackers, like Cheez-Its. Um, so that was our fun evening, which no parent. It's one of the hardest things about being a parent is, for me, is 
cleaning up throw up. It's just so bad. Um, anyway, I think we're feeling better. I still feel a little bit, not all better, but it's better than it was. And thankfully, stomach things go by really quickly. I'm just hoping it doesn't spread throughout the rest of the house. Um, David, Lucy, and Mark seem fine. She went, Lucy went to school as normal. Mark has played all day. David went and subbed. And um, he's pretty tired because he was up late last night trying to help me to, like, he stayed up for the first part of the night listening out for Nate. We were both so worried that Nate was going to be sick again. So anytime, like, he turned over in his bed or anything, we were, like, on high alert. Um, so neither one of us got much sleep. So we're just kind of taking it easy today. Um, thankfully, I thought he had a ball game tomorrow because he's on that Miracle League baseball team. But I just looked at the schedule, and they – they don't have a, a game tomorrow, so we can just take the re the weekend and just kind of recoup <laughs> after all of that. It's just so weird because as soon as he got sick, I was like, oh, and the nausea makes sense. That's what, it's a virus. That's what it is. So I was so confused at the nausea, and it just like was a switch. I felt fine, you know, all throughout the day, and then around three o'clock, like this wave of nausea hit me. It was so weird, but Oh, I feel like the spring is just the time where we just get sick. You know, it, 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 I feel like we've had viruses, cold viruses, allergies, stomach things coming in and out of the house for the last two months. I don't know. It's been a long time. Like you get everybody well, then everybody gets sick again. But anyway, I think we're doing better. So I wanted to end this vlog out such as it is. I know this one's not very exciting, but some vlogs are just, you know, they're real life, and I wouldn't have chosen this for any of us, but we made it through. I got all the laundry done today. Everything is clean. That's a win. Uh, Nate is feeling better. Nate sick is the worst. Like, all of my kids being sick is bad, but him being sick is just the worst. I hate it for him. It's like he doesn't quite understand, and uh, he just... He just seems so helpless and and like such a opposite of his normal self. He's normally so happy and so like active, and so when he's sick, it just breaks all of our hearts. But thankfully, it was short lived. He was not happy about having to miss school, but obviously, he couldn't go today. So anyway, that is the vlog. We're gonna t probably take the next couple days off of um, filming. Maybe I'll film Sunday, or I don't know. We'll see. But you guys will still be getting videos, so don't worry. I love you all. Thank you all for being here. If you liked today's video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. Definitely subscribe if you're new. We'll see you guys all tomorrow. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.